MedStar employees say they're experiencing paycheck problems once again. It's an issue Trumbull County reporter Nadine Grimley first reported nine months ago, and now employees say it's happening again. MedStar employees are upset. Nobody wants to go to work because nobody's getting paid. Brooke Moisio dispatches for the private ambulance company. Moisio says she received a paper check Friday, but when she went to cash it at the bank it came from, she was told there were insufficient funds. Very frustrating because it was my sole income and I live on my own, so that is where I was getting all of my money. Paramedic Daniel Bell says his check hasn't cleared yet. Well, in this economy, it's bad enough as it is. But, you know, when you're relying on a check, you put in your hours and you got bills to pay and mouths to feed. And next thing you know, you ain't got no money. For both Moisio and Bell, it's a feeling of deja vu. They worked for the company in July when other employees spoke out when their pay was delayed for the third time. Here you are a year early, later and you're starting out all over again. You got to ask yourself, you want to go through a whole nother summer of this? Because you're still digging yourself out financially from last time. I contacted CEO Troy Haas, who tells us he has very little to do with MedStar now. He referred us to Patrick O'Neill, who I also reached out to, but we've yet to hear back. Well, I mean, I'm not accusing anybody of anything illegal, but you got to ask yourself, if you're bringing in the money, where's it going? Because it ain't going to the paychecks, and that's a pretty big priority if you're running a company. Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News. The problems of MedStar Ambulance over the weekend forced a number of local communities to come up with alternative plans for emergency medical services. In Struthers, the fire department added ambulance service last October as a backup in case private companies weren't available. The mayor says while MedStar was to provide an ambulance in the city today, alternative plans had to be made over the weekend. Going forward, she says service will be a day-to-day -day issue. Obviously, we've had it in, in service for a couple months now. We have that as a, as a safety net, basically, but we've been in talks with EMT and with Lane, and we have people backing us up now. So we didn't have any issues over the weekend. The mayor says officials are studying the idea of a city-run EMS service and how tax dollars would have to support it.